Well, thanks, Harry. Hey, everybody. Good to be here. I'm uh, going to talk about making waves with Project Silver. And Project Silver is a special project that we are doing here in Holland uh, about voice and older adults. I'm Martin Lenz Fitzgerald, founder and director. And let's go. First off, though, ik ben eigenlijk gewoon Nederlands. So I have a very American accent, forgive me for that, but I have a great wife uh, for many years. And so my English uh, turned a little bit, but I hope you are not disturbed by that. Again, we're, I'm very Dutch and we'll be talking about Holland right now. So four years ago, the uh, first smart speakers were introduced in Holland by Google. You see them here and you probably know them already. And one of the amazing things is like, it's not just the speaker, but it's of course the assistant that is on there. And then back then we thought we knew a lot because we had the data from the US where it was already running for a while that people were mostly listening to music, checking the weather, asking questions, setting a cooking timer. I mean, that's what I still do myself every day. But there was something that we didn't know. And that is what is the impact for older adults? Because for the first time there was a new channel, a new interface where you didn't have to learn anything. You can just talk and the thing would do what you said. So that was something very special. So four years ago, together with the Dutch Older Adult Organization, the UNBO, with Google, with the largest insurance company, as well as the government bank, uh, the Ministry of Health and Wellbeing and Sports, we started exploring what does it mean to have a voice assistant available for such a low price for everybody? Is that something that we could use as a society? Is it beneficial for the older adults, for anybody else. So what we did is we started out doing research through the OMBO who had a great database for older adults. We had 3,500 people fill in a quantitative survey and over 15 people participated in a qualitative research of over two weeks where they used the voice assistant, the smart speaker and wrote up all their insight and experiences. And we had amazing results, not only did we learn that one in five already had talked to a device? So it wasn't even new to this user group. But we also learned there were many questions about how to set it up that that wasn't addressed well and that Google had to really pick up their game. Yet the impact was starting to become clear because Google Home changed my life, said Han, 81 years old. He has a bigger sense of security with that thing around him. Can you imagine that? One of the other things that we learn is that when you are alone and you can say good morning and you hear something back, even if it is automated, you get a little bit less of a feeling that you are lonely. So we knew this was really impactful. And which by chance we found out, we were actually the first organization or the first research to happen in, this, uh, in such a manner. Nobody researched older adults and the impact of voice. And the Dutch newspaper picked it up. So we really had a nice wave of, yeah, somebody or people understanding like, hey, voice, smart assistants, smart speakers have something meaningful for the older adult user group. What we also learned is that almost 75% uses a smartphone already. So there's a good, very good digital usage, if you will. Almost 70% uses smart tech in their home, like smart meters, TVs, a little bit less the Chromecast smart thermometers and Sonos, thermostats, excuse me. And one in five already controls voice, uh, controls devices by the, uh, using their voice, as said. And they have a large expectation. So there was a huge opportunity. They wanted to plan routes, which wasn't available back then. They want to look up more information, set alarms, reminders, et cetera, et cetera. Many things are now available. So this research, if you are interested, is available at projectsilver.com. One of my personal biggest takeaways back then working with this user group is how ignorant I was, how many bad prejudices I had regarding this group. I thought when you're 65, it's over. I'm 51 right now. So, hey, I'm getting a little bit more insight too. But such a powerful user group, so diverse, so willing. So, yeah. And for the first time now, they have a technology literally that talks to them, that they don't need to learn anything. That is yeah, easy to use. So for the first time, they're with it. And that, I think, was such an important aspect. Another important thing that we were able to do was when COVID started, because we had so much good 
data about usage and the positive impact, we were able to convince the Hardware for Good Google program to donate uh, half a million euros worth of Google Nest Minis, 10,000 devices. And we expected to give them away over maybe a week, maybe three weeks, maybe even months. But in less than 72 hours, they were given away to older adults. We checked who they were given away to. And one of the key things tactically that we did is we targeted users and we asked the users, give this to your dad, to your mom, to your older adult neighbor, et cetera, et cetera. Help them install it so they will be able to use it. And that was really impactful. It was so impactful that we saw 40% uplift, uplift in monthly active users, 65 and over. And over 73% of the users of the participants that we surveyed, because we asked them if we could, they agreed with the statement that Nest Mini added to their quality of life. So this was something really impactful. And this is again, what we with Project Silver do is we create projects that really have a positive impact uh, on the lives of older adults. And, and these projects always have to do with voice. So what do they do? Basically they do what everybody do. They listen to music, weather forecasts, listen to the news, control smart devices, et cetera, et cetera. And this is of course a great opportunity if you're in broadcasting, if you're a media company creating news items and things like that, if you create music, you wanna use this new medium. It's not just for health. Um, just to tease a little bit here. And yes, you can do many things with home monitoring, et cetera, et cetera, but those are very specific. Now I'm talking the, about the channel in general. So Project Silver now is really expanding its aspects or its, its, its impact. One of the things is that we are working on a hub with Google, uh, Google themselves. So Google is really learning now to talk with older adults. They always targeted the youth, the younger people, the 30 year old, maybe max, but now they are seeing the benefit of this user group and that they can really have bet, yeah, a, a good impact or benefit from the products that they have. And one of the things that we are also researching is what could we do in Sweden, in Denmark, for instance, we did a little bit of a trial already in Denmark with positive results, and we might want to do more. Another example that I'm doing personally is uh, the VIP board, which is a project for uh, older adults in homes with early stages of dementia who ask a lot of repetitive questions. And what you can do, of course, is uh, when they ask a repetitive questions, you can maybe automate the answers because if they do not get an answer soon enough, they get, get unruly, might be, and, and, and that's not a good thing for, this, uh, for these kind of people, uh, for these kind of patients, maybe, if you will. Um, so, for instance, imagine somebody asking, where's my car? Where's my car? When they see the car uh, in, the, in the image here above me, they press the button and a sibling will say, oh, the car is in our garage, very safely, Dad. Don't you worry. Hey, how about you read a book now? And that way there's a good distraction and, and yeah. Uh, so this is something that we are testing out right now. Very interesting to see the first results. Uh, one of the key things is that it's offline and doesn't need Wi-Fi because that's currently not really available in uh, the older adult homes, which is logical because that will become available when you and I will go uh, into a home because yeah, the generation currently in there did not grow up with Wi-Fi, one of the other insights. So these are the things that we are doing right now. And let's end up with some takeaways. So first off, one of the key things that we learned is that the older adult user group are as rich and diverse as your own age group. Can you imagine that? Did you, do you ever think about that, that they're just the same as you, just a little bit older? That's why I say older adult, because they're adults, but just a little bit older. Now, the other insight is that ageism, prejudice, and stigmas are rampant. There are so many yeah, bad attitudes, wrong attitudes towards older adults. And that is something that we really with Project Silver are finding. And voice is a great metaphor, a great catalyst, that's a better word, to fight that. And if you look at voice in older adults, it gives them superpowers. It gives them a feeling of being part of the game again, which because of the stigmas and all these other things, they don't like the, 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 the hamburger menus all the time. You don't really need them too using a simple voice interface gives them superpowers. And lastly, that is something for you personally, if you wanna do a project, look at the existing waves, the existing platforms and see if you can use it. And you might not like what you hear about the platforms, 
uh, there's privacy issues, there's power issues, but on the other side, they are learning as well and they are open to working with you. Just as, a, as an example, with this early medium, this early channel of voice, Alexa, which is actually even older than uh, uh, Google Assistant, they are now offering enterprise sized uh, smart speakers to care homes where every evening they delete all the personal data that they gathered because they want to make sure that you know it's, it's safe. And so that way you can see that they are really learning to service the needs of the public with these complex data rich uh, uh, applications. And so, of course, it's hard to do by yourself, but if you become bilingual, understand the needs of the platform as well as your own, you combine that a little bit. Again, what we do with Project Silver, you can make probably a bigger impact because they have the technology and sometimes it could be a ways to, to develop it yourself. So I hope with this talk, I inspire you a little bit to start using voice in your own environment for older adults with older adults i hope that if you want to i can help you a little bit we are keen to start some projects in sweden and maybe some other countries because i think that voice can be of such a value for older adults maybe maybe not even think no i know it so thank you very much everybody thank you harry thank you everybody in the room i hope you have a great conference bummer i couldn't be there but hopefully next time i will if, if you have a question, feel free to contact me. Here are all my de details. Take a picture, uh, Martin, Martin at projectsilver.com. And of course, that is also where you can download all the research that we have and everything else that you might need. So thank you very much again, everybody. And I hope to see you in person at some time or the other.